just like when you're a little kid and you want to build a tree fort and move in, that's what we're going to do. Infrastructure number one on any off-grid land is what? Toilet. What? A toilet. What? A toilet. Right. Within hours of being on a property, you're like, where is the bathroom anyways? <laughs> Christina's <laughs> in it. <laughs> Christina! So I have one concern. There's like a big cavern right there. Yep. That is great for housing. That's for a snake to coil up yes. in if he wants to. Bring your phone. Oh Bring your phone. Ready. I don't have it. That's not a rattler. That's not a Well, <laughs> how's the hole? It's great. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Hey? Awesome. Okay, keep getting sand, girls. We'll make like a little path down here and like make that nice and stable. It's not quite done yet, as you can tell. But the, the hard part's done. We got a, a huge stone hole. <laughs> the girls dug some big holes. And me and some other girls went to town and got some poles. Hey, this kind of reminds you of home, hey? Yeah, exactly. That one looks like pine just poles. Like a pine pole. Okay, so, I mean, you guys have seen this before. We'll just show you the sped up version. A beauty. Girls, your treehouse is so cute. <laughs> Anyways, we have another one to build. Let's go. We've got the master bedroom. Let's go. Up there. We got a sunset. We got a beautiful little fire in camp. Smokies, homemade tortillas, and look at this. We got the master bedroom completed. It is gonna be awesome. There it is. We're going to have a view of the sunset. And in the morning, we'll have a sunrise over there. And the girls' house. I think we're going to end up putting some walls on here, too, just to maybe block the wind. Who knows? It's like our new camp. We can do whatever. There's a couple key ingredients that we haven't found yet. One of them we're going to get right now. It's up that valley. This is beautiful. Isn't this what you make palm shower house out of? <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, how come you guys aren't swimming? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> it's looks like the cows beat us to it. The water is trickling out in the desert. Huh. 
there you are. You found a big flat rock. I did. It's a beauty. I know. Yeah, the rock looks really nice too. <laughs> Can you believe this place? No. As if like the warm, sunny desert wasn't beautiful enough, then you add boulders. like a little oasis with palm trees, palm trees. amongst the boulders. There you go. Aren't those, those girls amazing? I was just gonna say, there goes my shower! <gasps> Is this to we put the stuff on? We are about to blow your mind right now. Ugh. Great! Yeah. Nicely done. Let me try it. So, we have one of these shower bags at home and I'm like, clearly we're going to bring the shower bag for a six month road trip right. down the Baja. Uh-huh. And then we got like a month into our road trip and we're like, where is that shower bag? And Rose said, I said, you said that you were going to build an outdoor shower on the truck. So I didn't bring it. Which would clearly require the shower bag. Because I wasn't going to like invent a shower bag. I was just going to invent a way to like hold the shower bag. Clearly, there was some miscommunication. Clearly. So anyways. <laughs> Quick a, little stop at Cabela's. This is a Cabela's product somewhere in the States. Maybe Boise? I think it was Boise. Maybe. Anyways, this thing's actually brilliant because it gets hot on its own. But also, it doesn't take up much space. And then look, you can shower. I don't give me Look at this stonework. This one's my favorite. I know, that big center stone you yeah. can stand on. And look, it's getting more and more privacy every minute with Julia thatching. Nicely done. That cinches it down really good. Not structural, don't wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Like one wire and it's kind of locked in. Okay, tell me when you're in there. I'm in. Really? Yeah. I don't see ya. Oh, there's like a little. You need to put one more right little here. Little gap right here. One more little hole. We may or may not fix that. One more palm light. We'll see. This thing's not meant to prevent like weirdos. It's just meant to prevent like the odd hiker from coming along and being like, oh, wow. We got a desert camp with a little tree house with a shower, a thatched shower underneath it. Yeah, it's cool. This is like Swiss Family Robinson, like the real thing. It feels like it. Okay, do it fast. My hand is on the bottom of the bucket right now. What do you want me to do? Put the level oh, on there. Goodness. Okay, oh. tip it till it's level. Okay. It's like you take pleasure in knowing. Okay, take His that off. Hands are in poop. Open up the lid. It's old poop. So we had the foresight to bring this lid because I thought, you know what? We are going to build a potty down there and it works really good because it just snaps on a bucket. And we brought a bucket, but the bucket is super handy for so many things that I didn't want to use it. And we found this old toilet bucket, which actually had an old toilet seat on it. Okay. <laughs> we didn't want to use that crappy toilet seat. <laughs> exactly. Who's gonna crawl down the hole now and drill from the other way? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How do you like with your face that close yeah. to the seat? Yeah. <laughs> a shave and a perfume shampoo. shampoo. Oh. Oh, rock solid. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Really? Like yeah. you guys need like a step to get up? Yeah. Oh, it's like a squatty potty. 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 Do you know who sucks at pooping? You do. It just makes me want to go. <laughs> okay, our new friend Lewis is showing us where to get the clay. Because, boy, are we going to drive up there? Huh. Oh. Yeah. How do I say very exciting? 
Muy, muy emocionado. Está muy emocionado. Let me make the video. Well, okay. Uh, right, look, look, we got, we're getting close, man. There's a pile of old bricks. I just don't get it. Like, does everyone get their clay from here? His mom's driven down here for a long time. You're never gonna find it. There it is. Look at that. Sandia! <laughs> this is the stuff? Yeah, this is the stuff. Really, eh? Hey? You feel it. See? Just put water on it, it's very sticky. But where did this just come from? Did this just get dug out of there? From up here? Vamos a ver. So here it is. I think that'll do it. That's the stuff, man. Okay. That's what we've been looking well, for. Well, let's fill up some buckets. And there it is. Definitely, definitely clay. It looks very promising. We're gonna do a test. You guys have seen the soil test. We're gonna see how much of this is clay. Okay, look at this. So we're gonna we're gonna shake it up and stir it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna see how this settles out, right? There's actually some little gravels in here. They're gonna be on the bottom. Then we're gonna get sand. Then we're gonna get silt. little gold sparkles is that coming out no i can't actually see in the camera there's gold sparkles everywhere so we have like sulfides like iron pyrite mm -hmm. which you're not supposed to have in there from what i understand okay you shall have no sulfides in your fire brick but we have plenty all right We're building a test kiln. Our test ended up like that, which I don't know, I feel like that's a little bit inconclusive. <laughs> the only bit that you know is pure clay is that little strip. So maybe it's only 10 or 20% clay. So we still don't know anything, but we talked to Alejandro. Alejandro said, you gotta bake those bricks in a little oven, a test oven, and then totally seal it up. So, we're gonna try that. There we go, and then we'll plug it with this guy once it's going good. All right. Come on, little bricks, you can do it. Show me who's strongest. Look at that one, man. Okay, that one. That one has spontaneously turned to dust. Wow. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh, these are still pretty warm. Oh, ow. <laughs> this one would have been the one with the sand, and it okay. like turned to nothing. That's the biggest piece left. Crazy. Look at that. Just nothing. nothing. You see all the pyrite in there? Yeah. See, this I think is the problem with this wild barro. There's so much pyrite in it. This is the lime cement mix. Look at that. It's just like, it's just trash. This one is the wild barro with lime. Okay. It does break up, but I've seen weaker. Yeah. <clears throat> Which one was this one? This one definitely is not like crushing. No, it's, it's not. Not, it's not like crumbling. Totally no, apart. it's actually pretty hard too. I think this is gonna do it. So this one was what? Just straight up barro, just straight from the dirt, man. Okay. That's what we gotta do. Well, that's what we've got. Lots of that. Well, let's do it. Oh, 
baby. So do you have enough of this wild mud? Oh, we have so much wild mud. I want to eat it. Like it looks like <laughs> I know. chocolate mousse. I know, it's so good. Mm. This is not pure clay. This well, is pure soil. They call it lodo. Lodo. That's the, that's the soil that has clay in it. But and if how it's did, the how right, they say if it? it's lodo. Lodo. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so this stuff is lodo. Oh yeah. Oh, Jordan, Aye. my ring. Sorry. There's still ample opportunity to fail yet. We, if we do fail, it'll be that much Maybe more we catastrophic. <laughs> like we, we're not gonna fire that in this video because we're gonna wait a couple days, yeah. but we want you to see this video right now to hold us accountable. And then you can say what happened with the pizza oven. And then we'll tell you. One day, maybe. We're either gonna like, super excited in a few days, be like, we made pizza! Or in like a week or two after we've had a chance to grieve, we'll <laughs> post the picture of the what? Crumbled, incinerated pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Julia? Got a cow hide. Wow. That thing is beautiful. Tell me yeah. about it. Um, we got it at a market down here. Somewhere? Yeah. The whole hide. Yeah. And it's not just leather. It's hairy leather. It's hairy leather. It looks like marble. Or Oreos, whatever. <laughs> or like an Oreo uh, smoothie? smoothie. Is that a thing? An Oreo milkshake. 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 Oreo frap. An Oreo frap. Yes. Yeah. It'll burn up quick if you start making purses and journals and things like that. Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. Julia bought this cowhide here in Mexico and she's gonna sit around the campfire and make things for you. So you can check on the store, and as you can tell, there's a limited quantity. So whatever she makes out of this hide is going to be up on there, and then when it's gone, it's gone. Check it out. She makes, like, fabulous things, right? You guys have seen these. Okay. Get to work. <laughs> okay, it's an understatement to say that I love this camp. I've always, whenever I've been out in the woods, hiking or fishing or hunting, I've always looked at a camp and like seen all the potential and be like, oh, we could like build a little thing here and put the fire pit there and the pizza oven over there. So we built these kind of little mini palapas to get our rooftop tents off the truck. And we got like this little storage, this little like, look at that, we got a bookshelf, we got a shelf for our saw and our, Nails and our dive gear, our food bin, and our cooler. Of course, our little homestead on wheels is very busy at the moment. Thanks for doing the dishes, Christina. Mm. Thanks for uh, supervising there, Ab. What would we do without you? We're gonna wait a few days. But look at this thing. It makes it makes me want to build a little house out of Adobe. Look at it in here. So we kind of got it all. We got housing, we've got leisure, we've got multiple ways to cook food. What else do we need here, Rose? The oh, the outhouse! Oh, I should run up there and show you the out I don't know if we showed you the finished outhouse. We did not. But what else is there? Um, The garden. Yeah, the garden! Oh, the garden! This place just keeps getting better! Rose and the girls. I've planted mint 
and a basil. And these are actually just, they look a little bit sad, but those are actually like some green onions that were getting all wilty, so we just planted them. Okay, let's go to the outhouse. This is like the door of the outhouse. When you put that there, people know there's someone in here. Like a 3,000 pound stone throne. Pretty solid, pretty skookum. Although I wouldn't step around that area. You got a nice visual barrier with all the nice trees. And yet, you actually got an ocean view from the seat. So, what else do you want? I mean, we could kind of move in here. We kind of have already, which kind of makes me think we should do a camp out here. Like maybe a bunch of you guys would be interested to come down and man, we could have like a great adventure. Do some spear fishing or fishing. We'd have to hire a panga to take us out there. I don't think the dinghy would fit all of us. But this summer, the camp out's at our homestead. It's an off-grid homestead camp out. It's what everybody wants. They want to come see the homestead. So yeah. Come see the homestead. It's an off-grid homestead camp out. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be some spaces for some tents. You can bring your own tents. Or you rent the little cabins we built. Or a wall tent. Or maybe even these rooftop tents. Rose will take care of all the food. We got an outdoor kitchen set up. With pizza the, oven. With the pizza oven <laughs> and with the wood cook stove. Julie is going to do another leatherworking workshop. Dave's going to do a woodworking workshop. And I think the other thing we're going to do, I think we're going to take like a day and just play with the wood mill, the wood miser. We're going to get some logs and we're going to dice them up and you all get a chance to use the wood mill. And we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll make something out of that. Well, we will make something out of that. <laughs> we're not just going to like leave lumber lying around. No. Maybe you're interested in homesteading or off-gridding and you don't know. If it's for you, you can come check it out. You can check out the gardens. You can check out yeah. the animals. Check out the website. Let us know also in the comments, like, what do you think? Like, what would you like to see at the camp out? Right. That'd be great. Like, maybe I could dance for you. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't, Julius. I've, I could probably figure something out. <laughs> There's something going on out there. We're surrounded. Don't make a move. That's why.